Andrea Bocelli shares the unexpected reason why he was unable to teach music to his children. Andrea Bocelli recently appeared on The Jennifer Hudson Show, where he discussed his role as a father and what it's like to have two children pursuing music careers. Jennifer Hudson inquired about his family's musical future, asking Bocelli how he felt about his children following in his footsteps. It's a big responsibility, and I worry because I know this world very well, Bocelli admitted openly. I hope they will have the force, the courage, but I am worried. He went on to say that his main fear is whether his children would be able to prosper in such a competitive industry. What concerns me the most is the likelihood that they will not perform well or succeed. Nothing is certain in this, Hudson cheerfully said, but they have a great teacher in you. Bocelli chuckled, giving a light-hearted element. Yes, but they don't want to study with me, he said. I would like to teach them, but they are lazy. The two chuckled. But Bocelli admitted that combining his roles as parent and mentor is difficult. Being a father makes it tough to educate. I do my best. Hudson then discussed how Bocelli's daughter connects him to younger generations by introducing him to new musicians. And I hear your daughter introduces you to pop artists like Olivia Rodrigo. Hudson told me. Bocelli said that his children have an important part in widening his musical interests. They are my connection with the young generations. He told me. She sent me the song, and I didn't know. Bocelli's presence comes after his documentary, Andrea Bocelli, because I believe premiered at the Toronto Film Festival on September 7th. The film dives into the life and career of the famed Italian tenor, featuring in-depth interviews with Andrea Bocelli and his close circle. The documentary also focuses on crucial occasions in his business and personal life, as well as his vision impairment. When I was a child, I was considered extremely short-sighted. The singer admits in one moment. I was able to view everything, but up close. I remember vividly the world I saw back then. The hues and textures. Everything. How could I forget those memories? Alberto, the tenor's brother, stated that his three-and-a-half-year-old sibling Andrea had 13 surgeries in Turin for congenital glaucoma. He regarded the experience as agonizing. At the age of seven... Andrea was sent to a boarding school for visually impaired people because no local school would accept him. Alberto tells me. He only came home on holidays and during the school year. We would visit him once a month. The tenor reflects on the occurrence. While at boarding school, I was unexpectedly placed in the role of goalkeeper during a soccer game despite having no prior experience, says the student. Unsurprisingly, this was the only occasion I ever played as a goalkeeper. The ball hit me in the face, causing a hemorrhage. And the rest, as they say, is history, he says.